The first step in getting a free moving slide is to start with a clean slide. First, remove the outer slide and keep the inner slide somewhere safe. I like to keep mine on the bell section and place it on a trombone stand. Cleaning the outer slide requires a cleaning rod and a cloth of some kind. I like to use an old bed sheet, but you could also use cheesecloth. To prepare the cleaning rod, we'll pull the cloth through the eye of the cleaning rod and make sure that no metal is exposed. First starting with the tip and making sure that is properly covered, then the rest of the rod. We want to make sure that there is no exposed metal because that will damage the slide. Now take the cleaning rod and line it up with the outer slide. We want to make sure that it's impossible to dent the crook, so we'll have it lined up just a little bit before that point. Then we want to take the cleaning rod and push it into the slide. It should be a tight fit. And then we want to go back and forth, pushing and pulling, to clean the slide. You'll know that this is working by the friction heating up the outer slide. We want to repeat for the other side as well. Now that we're done with the outer slide, we can move on to the inner slide. We want to take a microfiber cloth and wipe down the slide until it's clean. The exact method of applying slide lubricant will depend slightly on which type you choose. There are basically two types, slide creams and slide oils. Slide oils are thinner while creams are a little bit thicker. They both have their applications and both are used by professionals. If you're using a cream, you want to take just the smallest amount. Remember that less is more when it comes to using trombone slide cream. We want to then take it and apply it to the stockings only. The stocking is the point where it gets slightly thicker towards the end of the slide, about the last few inches. So we'll take this slide cream and apply it to the end of the slide. And then once it's pretty well on there, we'll make sure to remove the excess. With the corresponding side of the outer slide, we want to make sure that all of that cream is distributed evenly. After we do this, we want to repeat for both sides of the slide. If you're using a thinner slide lubricant like an oil, we want to give it a good shake before applying. Then we follow a similar process of making sure we get the stockings thoroughly, but we might also choose to use some throughout the rest of the slide. Just like with the cream, we take the corresponding side of the outer slide and make sure that this oil is perfectly distributed. Once we have the lubricant applied, we want to take a small spray bottle and spray water on the stockings as well as the rest of the slide. This is a crucial step as the water droplets essentially act as ball bearings. I prefer to use distilled water because it's less likely to have contaminants. I also buy these small spray bottles on Amazon in bulk which are great to have around the band room or at home. Now that your slide is properly lubricated, use the 45 degree test to make sure that it's moving smoothly. You want to place at a 45 degree angle using your finger to make sure that it won't fall on the ground and see if it falls naturally. If it passes the 45 degree angle test, you're done. If not, you may need to go back and add a little bit more lubricant or if it feels like it's moving with a lot of resistance, you may want to try cleaning the slide and starting over from the beginning. It may take a little bit of time to get used to exactly how much you need to put on each slide. And remember that each slide is a little bit different. If you liked this video or found it helpful, please like, subscribe, and click the bell, as well as visit my website for low brass tutorials and other educational resources.